Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use the Slide Master in Microsoft PowerPoint. And as full disclosure, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. Now, why would you possibly wanna use a Slide Master with a PowerPoint presentation? I mean, slides aren't that hard to create, are they? Well, where a Slide Master really comes in handy is if you have a lot of content, whether it's fonts, colors, images that appear on a lot of slides. And let's say you wanna update your font, or let's say you wanna change one of your images. It's a pain to have to go through slide by slide by slide by slide to update the image, text, font, whatever it is. Slide Masters simplify all of that for you. Are you interested? Well, let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. Here I am in Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. This is the version that comes with Office 365. This is the most current version. If you have an older version, you should be able to follow along as well. Slide Master has been there for a little while, but it might look a little different than what you see here. So first off, to orient you to my deck that I'm creating here, you know, this YouTube thing's not really taken off that much. So I was thinking, hey, maybe I'll start my own cookie company. I'm good at making cookies, they taste good. Um, so here's Kevin's Cookie Company. See, those are some cookies that I've created before. Actually not, this is just a photo I found online. <clears throat> but they look pretty good and they make me wanna eat a cookie. Um, and so just kind of a quick view, sales uh, should increase exponentially. Yes, any business I touch will grow through the roof. Customers love our products and our staff love our company. There you can see our cookies and that's supposed to provide inspiration to our investors that we're gonna grow fast. Hence the stack of cookies and the full glass of milk because we're optimists. And company progress, we open three more locations and I show all these other locations because we're already a very successful company. You wouldn't wanna miss out on this investment. And then we we also have our Q2 reporting and sales so far are looking great. Okay, so a few things with this deck that I wanna update. I'm using Times New Roman. I Who uses Times New Roman anymore? It's a font I used back in high school. That is just a dated font. Let's update to something more, uh, kind of more contemporary. The way we do that is click on view and within view you have something called Slide Master. And let's take a quick look at this description here. So master slides control the look of your entire presentation, including colors, fonts, backgrounds, effects, and just about everything else. You can insert a shape or a logo on a slide master, for example, and it will show up on all your slides automatically. All right, well, I won't believe it until I see it. Um, so what we're gonna do now, as I mentioned, we have this Times New Roman font, and we wanna modernize that. So I'm gonna click on uh, fonts up here, and what we could do is we could select Sago. That's a nice, more modern font. So let me select that. Um, some other things you could do is you could edit colors, you could set effects, you could set themes for all your slides. And uh, let's take a look and see what happens. So I'm gonna click on Close Master View. And so now what you'll see is the font has updated on every single slide in my PowerPoint presentation. Now, instead of having to go through slide by slide by slide and update all the fonts, there I've just updated it in one click basically through the Slide Master. Some of the other things I might wanna do, let's say maybe showing a logo of my company on each slide would be a nice touch. Um, so I have this beautifully designed and crafted logo. Actually not, it's kind of dreadful, but I just needed a quick example to show how you do this. Um, so here's my Kevin Cookie Company logo. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back to the Slide Master. Let's go back to the Slide Master and I'm gonna paste it in, in let's say the bottom right hand corner so it shows up on every slide. And now I'm gonna exit the master view again and oh, there you see my logo shows up there and here and here. Why doesn't it show up on this slide? Oh, well, my image is hiding it. Uh, but you get the idea. It'll show up on every slide as the lowest layer on those slides. By the way, if you're looking at learning about layers, I have a tutorial video on that that you could check out in the description down below. And let's say that I wanna include a photo of the owner of this company. So maybe I reduce the slide size and I wanna place it right above the logo. So let's go back into the slide master once again and we could paste it in and there it shows up above my logo on every single slide. And let's say that I only want it to show up on the title slide, but no other slide. Is it possible to do that? Or does it just apply to everything? Well, no, you could just do it to an individual slide. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove my image uh, from this master slide that applies to everything. And what you can see is these are all the different layouts you could select when you create a presentation. You have your title layout, you have your content layout, and so on and so forth. If I go back here, this maps to all the different layouts you could choose when you insert a new slide. Okay, so let's jump back into the master. Um, and I said I only wanna add it to the title slide. So I'm gonna go to the title slide here and then we're gonna paste in my little picture. Uh, maybe he's kind of peeking up from the, from the logo. And let's bring, uh, yeah, that looks good. 
Um, and, uh, and so what you'll see is it shouldn't be on any of the other slides. And now we're gonna close the master view. And so here I show up on the title, but I don't show up on any of the other slides. Um, but it doesn't show up on any of the other slides. Um, so that's a quick, just a quick tutorial of how you could use master slides to update things through a very large deck very easily, whether it's colors, fonts, uh, imagery, any type of content on the slide that shows up in a number of places, it really simplifies the job of uh, updating or adding to many slides. Uh, so hopefully if you were able to use the slide master and it helped save time when you were creating a presentation, please hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, more tips and tricks for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other uh, things that I decide to create a video on, uh, feel free to uh, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification. And lastly, if there are any other videos uh, that you'd like to see me make, anything else that you're trying to learn, anything else that you don't understand that you want to see a how-to video on, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I had for you tonight. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.